Hi, Michael Shepard with Michelangelo's Pizza and the World Pizza Champions. What I'm going to do today is show you real quick how to make a batch of dough with a dough conditioner called PZ44. Many different brands on the market, but the one I prefer is PZ44 by Foremost Farms. This product is made from an amino acid called L-cysteine and also um, a little bit of whey. What these two products do when you add these to your dough is it will allow your dough to relax while it's mixing, mixing quicker. It will actually speed up the whole mixing process. The amino acid does its job while it's mixing. What it will also do is your final product that you are hand tossing or sheeting, stretching, whatever you do with it, it will take away some of that memory that the dough has so it won't snap back as you're trying to toss it out. Typically, you will add this to your dough recipe at about 2% of the uh, flour weight. You can toy with it back and forth a little bit to get it to your exactly where you want it. The one thing you want to do keep in mind, since it does have a little bit of whey, it will give you um, a little extra browning, and this may turn off if you've got any uh, vegan customers that may not like this. What I'm going to do is just kind of give you this dough recipe. I'm going to make a batch of dough, um, and then we're going to see what it looks like when it comes out. The uh, dough recipe that I'm going to give you is in Baker's Percent. I use Baker's Percent because you can convert this batch universally across the board to whatever size you want. Not only does it give you that portability, it gives you the consistency. Everything is weighed every time. You get this many ounces of yeast, this many ounces of PZ44, that many pounds of water, that many pounds of flour, and it's exact every time. This way, it's, it's idiot proof. Anybody can make your dough any day of the week. You don't have to make it. Anybody can make it. It's idiot proof. I've already got the flour in the bowl. I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients. No specific order. Just keep in mind as you do have your dry ingredients set out, salt tends to kill yeast, so keep it separate from your yeast. This recipe calls for instant dry yeast. So this yeast is going directly into the bowl with the flour. Each one of these is going right in. We've got our, our yeast, PZ44, our salt, our sugar. The bowl is raised. I'm going to allow this to mix for about 20 seconds to evenly distribute all of those dry products throughout the flour. We're going to add our water and our oil next. We've already got these weighed out. Pour them, pour them right into the bowl. Me personally, I put the oil right in with the water as well. I've had good luck with that. Some people don't. Your choice. After 10 minutes of mixing, the dough is fully developed and ready to go. At this point, you just cut it into the desired sizes that you need, roll it, and it is ready to go. No more of the waiting, let it relax on the table. PZ44 fully develops it as it mixes, and it's a great product, and I'm sure you will work great for you.